wasn't fair to ask black people not to defend themselves when attacked. We are faced with a racialistic society, a society in which they are deceitful, deceptive, and the only way we can bring about a change is to talk the kind of language, speak the language that they understand. The racialist never understands a peaceful language. The racialist never understands the nonviolent language. The racialist, we have, he's spoken his language to us for 400 years. We have been the victim of his brutality. We are the ones who face his dogs that tear the flesh from our limbs only because we want to enforce the Supreme Court decision. We are the ones who have our skulls crushed, not by the Ku Klux Klan, but by policemen, only because we want to enforce what they call the Supreme Court decision. We are the ones upon whom water hoses are turned with pressure so hard that it rips the clothes from our back. Not men, but the clothes from the backs of women and children. You've seen it yourself. Only because we want to enforce what they call the law. Well, any time you live in a society supposedly based upon law, and it doesn't enforce its own law because the color of a man's skin happens to be wrong, then I say those people are justified to resort to any means necessary to bring about justice where the government can give them justice. Talk lying coming to you live from Las Vegas where I'm always on some type of motherfucking bullshit. And today we're going to be talking about uh, America's dirty little secret. Um, I know y'all been wondering, uh, you know, a lot of politicians, uh, a lot of entertainers, um, a lot of people been coming forward against them. And I know you've been wondering what's going on. Well, we in the last days, y'all. And, and, and today's show is going to be about icons. Um, about black disciples. I know you like black disciples. Uh, well, I come from Chicago, so um, this means something to me. You have uh, gangster disciples. I come from an area where it was gangster disciples and black disciples. But, uh, man, the talk found out some stuff that um, I'm going to have to get to that point later. Um, um, we're going to talk about harassment because that's what's going on. A lot of sexual harassment going on. We're going to pull everybody's pants down. And while we have... Uh, the freaks of the industry's pants down. Let's give them a whooping. Because back in the days, uh, black women used to know how to give ass whoopings. And right now, we got a lot of politicians. Um, they all apologizing. Oh, I'm so sorry for squeezing all the asses that I did. Um, I'm so sorry for uh, grabbing the pussy. Uh, you know, our president haven't apologized for nothing. But he everything he do, that people I've asked him... Um, Mr. President, don't you think you should apologize for this? Uh, Mr. President, don't you think you should, should apologize for that? He's not going to apologize for anything, but he sure won't apologies. This is a crime. Looking like me is a crime. What you're looking at is forensic evidence of what happened to black people in the past. That's what you're looking at right now. That's who Talk Lion is. I am a remnant or a, a, what's, just like I said, I'm forensic evidence or what happened to black people in the past? Look at me. Prime evidence. All you got to do is start doing the testing on me and see where I came from. That's right. I, I, I came from a place called Negro Land. We're going to get to that later. This is part of what's being covered up in America. This We're getting in the last days, y'all. That's why I said it's a lot of dirty secrets that's coming out now. Yeah, they the freaks of the industry. But black people been known about all America's dirty little secrets. You're right. We've been knowing about them, especially uh, us 70s babies, because I my parents talked to me about this here. You know, now they coming out with all this sexual harassment. Since they got their pants down and they getting the whooping, let's bring everything out. Let's talk about everything. All America's little dirty secrets. And a lot of their dirty secrets got a lot to do with us, y'all. The real dirty little secret is what they did in slavery. This is what they don't really want to talk about. But this is when they want to keep it quiet all the time. They always say, uh, when you bring up slavery, they say, why y'all still talking about slavery? Y'all wasn't slaves. But what happened was nothing was ever delivered to the people that were slaves over here. Nothing was ever given to them. They left slavery with the shirts on their back. And the people that, that the industry, the slavery was built up around, they left with plenty of money. They all rich and they was able to pass it on to their kids. For generations and generations and generations, all we would could pass on with the shirt on our back. Robbed us of, of our religion, our culture, our God. Took us from Negro land in Africa. All black people. 
You call yourself black disciples and, and black gangster disciples and stuff in Chicago while you're killing your own self. If you really knew who you were, this is why they've been hiding all this. Since they pants is down, talk gonna tell you the whole story. That's right, look on the map. Get on your phone right now and, and Google Negro Land. And if you, unless you look up Negro Land, you're gonna see, and then go to the, the, the up-to-date map now, and you're gonna see it's called Niger. So they've been calling you what, what you really were. Uh, you actually are Negro. You come from Negro Land. Uh, and, and now they change it to Niger. Niger, nigger, it all starts to make sense when you really look at it. Um, you are, black people are the real disciples that was with Jesus. If you look in the Bible, they are the real disciples that was with Jesus. So now that all the secrets are coming out, America's main little dirty secret, why did they go get the Negroes? Because that's who we are now. We know who we are now. We're not African Americans. We're not Africans in Americas. We, we, we're not niggas. Uh, we've been called all types of things. Like colored. They didn't call us everything because they've been trying to cover up America's little dirty secret. That when they got to America, they gave all the Indians diseases and everything. They ain't going to talk about that. They're going to just tell you that Christopher Columbus discovered America. No, Christopher Columbus was a murderer, a killer. He came over here and killed the blacks that was here because there was black people here too. They don't talk about that. They just say Indians was here when he arrived. That's another lie. It was black people here too. And, um, and, 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 and Indians was here. They, they fucked over all the Indians. That's why ain't too many Indians left. But I'm going to tell you right now. Uh, and they couldn't work over here in America. That's why you see them complaining about everything. Now they're complaining about the Mexicans picking the fruit here. They ain't going to pick it. Ain't nobody white going to get out in the field and pick nothing. That's why they had to get slaves from Africa. Because they can't work in the field. Look at their skin. They were burned up. They, could, they are not designed to, to work out in the fields. So who was going to work them fields? That's why they never sent you back to Africa. They always, oh, they actually had a plan. Actually, in Congress, they had came, after slavery was over, they actually had, had came up with the plan and the money and the bill. They was going to colonize us back over there in Africa when they got through with us. I'm going to tell you, y'all, it's a lot of stuff going on. Talk going to get all into it. Planned Parenthood. Black people need to know the secrets. Tune in to the talk show. The real dirty little secret got something to do with black people. That's right. So black people, you need to stop that black on black crime. If you knew that you was the real disciples and where you came from, stop killing yourself. Pull your pants up, black man. You need to find out where you're from. Look up Negro land. You never knew it was the actual place where you actually was from. The, 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 the blacks that's in America right now specifically come from Negro land. You can check your DNA. It's a lot more than just the, the freaks of the industry. It's a lot more than that. All this freaky stuff goes back a long ways. America got a lot of dirty little secrets, and you're looking at one of America's dirty little secrets right here. Forensic evidence. Look at me. Take me into any forensic lab and break it down. And you will find out all the damages and everything that's been done to the black man. You will see it all with that forensic evidence that you're going to see from talk. Open me up. Open me up and you will see all America's dirty little secrets is all wrapped up into talk land. Look up Negro land, black man. Stop walking around killing yourself. Find out what God really put you here for. Find out who, who you really are. Stop calling yourself a black disciple when you go kill a gangster disciple. When we all disciples of the Lord. Look up your history. You are an important person in this world. That's why they've been keeping you down all these years. That's why the talk show is having trouble trying to compete on, 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 on YouTube and, and Facebook. Because they won't let my stuff. They put it in a situation where you can't hear. Because they afraid that when this word get out. You damn right. I'm talk lying. And I'm always on some type of motherfucking bullshit. <laughs>